In the late evening of October the 12th, 1875, at number 30 Clarendon Square in the Warwickshire Spa town of Leamington, a baby boy was born. Named after his father, Edward Alexander Crowley was the firstborn son and future heir to Emily and Edward Crowley. Nobody, least of all his God-fearing parents, would have deduced that this child, who later changed his name to Alistair Crowley, was to become infamously known in later life as the wickedest man in the world. However, if what has been written in later years can be believed, and there have been a mountain of books written by or about this man, legend has it that Edward Crowley, the child, was born with four hairs upon the center of his heart, curling from left to right in the form of a swastika, the mark of the beast. We had a fantastic headline. New sinister revelations of Alistair Crowley. I had visions of being degraded and suffering at the hands of wicked women. The lodge and the terrace became infested with shadowy shapes. 111 servitors escaped from the lodge and entered the house wreaking havoc. I approached him after the ceremony and told him he had been meddling with the goatee, the dark forces. He denied it, of course. In that case, I said, the goatee has been meddling with you. 